Hey Team Toyota, this is Ken Hill with Automotive Adventures. Welcome to another episode of the Toyota Feature of the Week. On today's Feature of the Week, I'm going to give you a hands-on tutorial on how to demonstrate the Trailer Backup Guide and the Straight Path Assist available on the new 2022 Tundra. Whether you tow every weekend or you've never towed before in your life, the features in Trailer Backup Guide and Straight Path Assist are intended to make towing safer, make it more convenient, and make it easier for you in your towing activities. While we're now sitting in a 2022 Tundra with the available Trailer Backup Guide and Straight Path Assist, and you'll know a truck is so configured if on the front uh, left corner of the center console, you'll find the Trailer Backup Switch. So let's tow something. In this case, what we have attached to the truck is a small cargo trailer. It's never been towed with this truck before, so the first thing we have to do is add it to the Tundra trailer garage. And to do that, we're gonna start using the uh, buttons on the left side of the steering wheel, and you can see the configuration in the left side of the MID. So what we're gonna first do is arrow left or right to our settings menu. We will then use the toggle switch to arrow down to a line that says trailer settings. We'll press OK to select that and that'll bring up our trailer settings menu. Now once we're on the trailer settings menu, it gives you several options. You can select or add a new trailer, you can edit a trailer, you could delete a trailer. So for instance, if you just sold your boat, you're not gonna be towing it again, you could delete that out of the garage. But in this case, as we mentioned, it's a brand new trailer, so we're gonna select to add a new trailer. So we arrow down, press OK to continue, press OK again to add a new trailer, and now we're actually in the garage where you can select a name. There are multiple names here, everything from cargo trailers, utility trailers, horse trailers, boat trailers. Select the name for the trailer that most closely represents the type of trailer it is. So in this case, cargo trailer, we're gonna arrow down and press OK to continue. The next menu that comes up is gonna ask you several questions specific to the trailer you have attached to the truck. So the type of hitch that you have attached, uh, whether it's a ball or a fifth wheel type hitch, uh, the approximate length. And if you don't know, just select auto and we'll let the truck determine how long it is. It'll ask you the number of axles that you have under the trailer and also the type of brakes that you have. In this case, the small cargo trailer does not have electric brakes. So we're gonna press okay to enter there and then choose the TBC off choice all the way down. And again, okay to select. Once that's done, now the truck has a better idea of the specific trailer we're gonna to be towing. So we're gonna arrow down and select save. So now we've gone through and we've configured this specific trailer. The very next step is we turn on the trailer backup switch. This is gonna prompt us uh, if we've selected the cargo trailer, we're gonna press okay on the left side of the steering wheel to continue. And it's then gonna come up with a six step process for us to save the configuration for this trailer. And it'll prompt both on the big screen as well as the left side of the MID and literally just follow the directions that it prompts for you on the screen. So step one of six, drive straight forward slowly. So as we slip the vehicle and drive, literally just a couple miles an hour as we continue forward, the truck is going to take some images of the front of the trailer and the uh, tongue. As soon as it's satisfied that it has good solid images of the, uh, the trailer, it's going to ask you to come to a stop. It will then prompt on the left side is uh, asking if the blue line in the display is aligned with the center of the trailer tongue. In this case, it is. It looks good. So we're going to select OK to continue. If it did not, it just means that potentially some of the cameras got a glare. It didn't get a good configuration. So you select no, and it'll just ask you to pull straight forward again and give it a second try. But again, in this type case, we're going to select yes. It is now going to ask you to make a sharp turn and you can go either left or right. It's just looking for an opportunity, the cameras to get an image of the side of the trailer as well as determine what full lock is, what's the sharpest possible turn that this truck can make with this trailer attached. As soon as it gets that, it'll again ask you to pull straight forward. Step five, we're gonna to come to a full stop and it's gonna be calibrating. It's gonna save all of those images for the trailer. And step six is now complete. 
So now we're ready to actually tow. Uh, we have the trailer configured in the Tundra trailer garage. We've also gone through the setup configuration so that the truck recognizes the specifics to this trailer, number of axles, approximate length, etc. So now when we're ready to, uh, to use some of these assistance technologies, we're gonna have two modes that we're gonna take advantage of. One is the trailer guidance, and the other is the straight path assistance. So we're gonna show you how both of those get activated. The first thing we're gonna do is press the trailer backup switch. On the left side of the center console, on the MID, it's gonna come up and remind us that the cargo trailer is what we used last, and that is what is currently selected. So we're gonna press OK on the left side of the steering wheel to continue. Once we've done that, you should see on the big screen that uh, the trailer backup guide is active. It recognizes the trailer, and all we have to do is shift into reverse to activate it. And as I do so, we're gonna to default to the trailer guidance technology. Now you may be able to hear that beeping. That is our park assist. It is always active. Some of the other manufacturers disconnect that as soon as you plug a trailer in. Toyota, since safety is one of the pillars of the brand, we leave that active to remind you that there's something back there, but you can easily uh, disconnect the system by pressing the little speaker in the top right corner of the screen. That'll silence the park assist. Now, as we begin to back up, if we turn the steering wheel, the right side of the screen will give you guidance arrows to let you know which direction the trailer is turning. So for those with experience towing, you can use that to easily guide the trailer into a parking spot or a boat perhaps down the boat ramp. But if we are looking for a little more help, if the boat launch is really crowded and tight, if we're moving a large RV trailer through a uh, a busy fueling station, we can take advantage of the straight path assist. And to activate that, all we have to do is press in the lower right corner this white button. You'll see the steering wheel twitch a little bit and it'll come up and let you know that the straight path assist is active. Now using the images from our configuration steps we did earlier, all we have to do is release a little bit of brake pressure and as the vehicle starts backing up, we of course want to keep our hands close to the wheel just in case but you'll notice the truck is gonna be making adjustments to keep the trailer going on its original intended path. Now, if we have to make a correction, if we see something in the mirrors and we're gonna correct the angle just a little bit, then we can let go of the wheel, the truck will correct, and again, to bring us back on that original intended path. We just completed hands-on demonstration of the trailer backup guide and straight path assist technologies available on the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Let's review the process. It's a three-step process. First, we need to register the trailer in the Tundra Trailer Garage. We do that by using the MID setup menus on the left side of the cages. Next, we calibrate the trailer so the truck knows the specifics to the trailer we're actually towing. Lastly, we just simply put the vehicle in reverse and we can choose between two modes of assistance, the trailer backup guide or the straight path assist. For more Toyota product showcases and a new Toyota features of the week, please subscribe to our channel and give us feedback. From Automotive Adventures, I'm Ken Hill. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you down the road.